Expulsion and even possible criminal charges being considered for a seventh grader behind a racist social media post in Dixon. Nearly two dozen black and biracial students and the principal were targeted. Thanks for joining us at five. I'm Steve Large. And I'm Adrian Moore. CBS 13's Madison Keevy is live at John Knight Middle School in Dixon for us tonight. After speaking to the parent of one of the students, Madison, who was in that photo. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And she put it simply, words are words. She wants action. I shouldn't have to explain to my son why the color of his skin, uh, it has him being treated like lower than a dog's position. It hurts that we have to prep our kids for this. It hurts that we have to see them suffer. We shouldn't have to go through this. The voices of families with students targeted in a racist post put up Wednesday by a seventh grader on campus with a plan. A collage of photos of African American or biracial students, including the school's first black principal, put on social media with a racist caption. Superintendent Brian Dolan told media and families the district is pursuing every legal option possible. Dixon police are involved too. I asked Dolan if criminal charges are possible. We don't have the ability to um to make that call as they don't have the ability to make ours on uh, if there should be criminal charges. I trust you mean what you say, but I don't, words don't do anything for us. Families held Dolan accountable, who said responsibility fell to him and staff. Cyrus, a student targeted in the post, came to see what that accountability looks like with his own eyes next to his mom. Well, I'm feeling good. I feel safer at the schools now, but yeah. When you, when you found out what happened, how did you feel? Bad. Angry? Yes. Better training for staff on inclusivity and equality, inclusive curriculum, and better diversity in new hires among the staff. Next okay. steps also include conversations with these families and others, with students who don't feel safe on campuses in Dixon. This is very important for our community. You know, our children need to be protected as well as everybody else's. You know, um, this is a very disheartening situation, but there is hope that this can be fixed. But the district already has an equity task force, but parents that I talked to today say that's not translating to these campuses and hope that this incident is the catalyst to make that real change.